and welcome to Service Stamp Imagery. Today we're going to be creating five cards and they're going to be clean and simple cards using detailed die cut images. I think it's a really nice thing to do particularly when you've got a lot of cardstock scraps that you want to use up because using the smaller die cuts really gets rid of a whole heap of those at once. So the dies that I'm going to be using today are all ones that I have kindly been sent by Spellbinders for their brand new release and they're all designed by Annie Williams. So the first one we're going to use is called Country Wheelbarrow. It has this really beautiful detailed wheelbarrow on it. And the flowers that are in the wheelbarrow are from the Garden Builder set, which is a really lovely floral set that's really nice for lots of different kind of scenes. Then we've got the Rustic Garden set, and that has the big wheel, the barrel that we'll be using later, um, it also has fence panels and a little bird feeder die, which is really cute. And then the final one, which I think is a really useful set, is the seasonal decor set. And that literally has so many different items from all around the year. So I feel like there's always going to be something that you want to use on there. So for today, we're going to be using the present off that. But the card that we're going to use could be interchangeable with a lot of the different things. So I'm going to start off with this really cute wheelbarrow. I'm going to show you how to put this together because sometimes I think one of the most difficult things with these detailed die cuts is knowing where everything goes. So for this one I'm going to pop some glue on the back of here. So this is going to go here. So then we've got the wheel. We've got this piece that I've cut in the dark grey and I'm just going to add some glue right to the edges of it. The nice thing about these is that they kind of emboss where the pieces that join to them go so that you can kind of see where they fit. And then again, I think it might be quite hard to see on camera, but there's an emboss line on here. So I know I can just put my glue around the outside and then it's not going to show through. And this is kind of one of the things that I love about the Spellbinders dies. That those little added touches really add dimension to that wheel. So then this is going to go here. And I'm just going to add a bit of glue onto here. And then I can add that behind this wheel. And this little white piece here is going to go through the wheel. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue behind here just to keep it in place. And then... I'm going to glue this on the back of here. This one probably needs to go on the front of here. And then this piece can go down the side. Then I'm going to pop this on here. I'm going to slide it under that white bit. And then this piece goes on here. But I'm going to fill this with flowers, so I'm going to make my flowers before I glue that on. So I have cut absolutely loads of these that I'm going to use through the whole video from um, different bits of scrap cardstock. These are all from that garden builder set. So there's loads of bits that we can kind of add together to make little flowers. And I've cut like little centres for the flowers as well. You can make this up in all different ways. I'm going to pop that flower onto here. I've probably only used about half of the dies from the set to cut these. There's loads of lovely bits and bobs you can use from in there. And you can obviously choose to layer them or not layer them. So I'm going to start gluing a whole bunch of these behind here so I can kind of start seeing what it's going to look like. So then because we're doing clean and simple cards today, I don't want too much going on in the background. So I'm going to use this Stormy Sky Distress Oxide ink. And I'm going to kind of just put it that really lightly on here. So I'm brushing a lot of it onto my scrap paper. 
and then I just want a nice light layer of colour just to kind of like add something in the background but without it being too in your face and I think that just that is enough to kind of offset the wheelbarrow and then I've used my mini everyday sentiments hot foil set to hot foil sending birthday wishes that's going to be my sentiment for this card and then I can just glue this onto the card and then I'm just going to add a foam strip to the back of this and then I've got this vanilla kiss mix from little things from Lucy's cards and the reason I've chosen to add some of these on is I'm going to use these iridescent ones and they kind of add something to the card without taking away from the clean and simple look. So I'm only just going to add like literally three on there. Then there's that first card finished. So for this next card I decided to use some white scraps of cardstock because I don't know about you but I always have loads of white scraps from like cutting mats and things like that. So I'm just, just cutting random kind of angles off the top of those. And then I'm just going to kind of glue those across my card. I decided to go for white scraps rather than coloured or patterned scraps. Partly because I've got a lot of them and partly to kind of keep within that kind of clean and simple theme and not make the background kind of too distracting. And then I'm just going to add some of these leaves and flowers from the Garden Builder set across it. And this is such a useful set, I can see it really quickly becoming one of my favourites. And you can see with these flowers, some of them I've layered up, some of them I've left as they are. And then I've got this thin strip of pink cardstock and I'm going to lay that across the bottom of the flowers to ground them a bit. And then I'm going to just add some fine tape behind here. And then that sentiment is again both foiled and cut, you can see there's the banner dies with this as well. So it's both foiled and cut from that same sentiment set. So then that's that second card done. So for this card, I'm going to use the present from that gorgeous seasonal decor set. And like I said at the start, I think this is such a useful set. The card that I'm going to create is like a grid card, and you could use pretty much any of the elements from the set for this. But I also think they're really good to combine with the other die sets that I've used today. So for example, you could create a wheelbarrow full of pumpkins for an autumnal card or full of vegetables. You could fill it with Easter eggs at Easter time. I just think there's really lots of kind of like mixing and matching you can do with this. So the present comes in four sets of dice. So you've got the present base, the present lid. I've, I've chosen to go with all like same colour lids to bases for my presents today. But you could change that around. You've got the bow that goes over the top. This bow comes in two pieces so again like you could layer them up. You could have say a darker one and a lighter one or different colours and then you've got this piece that goes in the middle as well. So I'm just going to pop those together and because of the embossing on there, it's really obvious where you put everything. So you can line up the bottom of this box lid with the line that's on there. And then you can line up this ribbon piece with the marks for the ribbon that are on the box. So there's no worrying about whether it's in the right place or anything like that because you just line it up with the embossed marks that are already there. Then I'm going to layer these pieces up. 
And then I'm going to add this to the top of the box. So you can see I've got a whole heap of like different combinations here. So I've made eight parcels. And this part is sticky, so it's got my piece of cardstock stuck to it. It's a four and a quarter piece of cardstock, four and a quarter inches square. And then I'm just going to like lay out my presents so that I know where I want to stamp my sentiment. I'm not worrying about what colours wear at the moment because all I want is for my sentiment to be in the right place. So I'm going to use this Birthday Wishes sentiment set from Alex Siberia Designs and I'm going to use Let's and Celebrate. So I'm going to position the Let's within here and then I can clear all these off. I'm going to stamp the pink, that's Flirty Flamingo ink from Stampin' Up. And then I'm going to use this old Misty Moonlight ink just to stamp and celebrate. And then I'm going to cut around that with my scissors. So then I've got a 5x5 five five inch card lang. I've got this piece of pink cardstock that's literally like an eighth of an inch bigger than the white cardstock, just to frame it a little bit. So I'm going to layer those up. And then I'm going to grab some foam pads and I'm going to add them to the back of my parcels. And then I'm just going to pop a bit of foam strip behind the other part of the sentiment. And then how cute is that? So for this next card, I'm going to actually do the sentiment first. So I'm going to use the same stamp set and I'm going to use the happy birthday. So I absolutely love using my stamp wheel for sentiments because I've cut this strip down to the size that I want it. Because I've got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card blank. Then I've got a three and three quarters by five inch piece of dark grey cardstock. That's the basic grey from Stampin' Up. And then this piece is an eighth of an inch smaller than that. So I've cut that to the same width as that. And then I've cut it to the height of my sentiment. And because this is sticky behind, then it will keep it in the same place for me to kind of arrange and stamp my sentiment. Whereas with another stamp positioning tool, then I would need to kind of hold that down with magnet or something, which isn't obviously practical when you're dealing with something this size and you want to stamp on it. Then let's ink like that with my Versamark pink. And then I can just flip that over and slot it into place. I know it's going to stamp where I want it. So then I'm going to use this opaque bright white super fine embossing powder from Wow. And then I'm going to heat that up. And then that's ready to layer on my card. And then I'm going to use some more of the plants and also the little cap from the um, garden builder set. So I've got one of these made up here. And again, the way to layer this up is just to use the embossed lines as a guide. And also, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see like here, this one's got like embossed lines on it and this one's got embossed lines on it. So you can see those are the ones that you don't need to cover up. So I'm going to have that across like that and I just want to see how I want to build up this scene. I think I quite like that, like that. So I'm going to lay this all up. I'm going to add some centres to the flowers and things as well. I'm just lining those up there so that I can put 
Please in the right place. So now I can glue these on. So then how cute is that card? So then for my final card, I've got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I'm gonna use some of this crap pistachio district oxiding. And again, I just want quite a light blend. I'm not gonna press too hard. And actually, I think I'm gonna switch over to the salvage patina. I think that actually goes a bit better with the colours that I'm using today. So then for this one, I'm going to use this barrel. I'm going to use some of the flowers again. So I've got some of these tulips. And there's just kind of a back piece and a front piece that glue together. And there's kind of the leaves to go with it as well. So I'm going to start gluing those down. For the barrel, I'm just going to glue these two pieces together. And then I think that maybe the idea is that you have like flowers and things coming out of the top of here. But I've decided not to do that. So I die cut just the top of here again so I could get a piece of the dark that will slot into there. This tulip piece comes with a stem. And then there's leaves to go either side of the stem. And then obviously there's the tulip itself to go on top. So I'm going to grab some foam strip and put that behind there. And then I'm going to use this fresh mint little things from Lucy's cards. I'm just going to dot a few of these little clear ones about. So then there's that card finished. So then here we've got all five of today's cards. I think even though they're a clean and simple card, they've all got a nice amount of detail to them. They look really pretty. I'd love to know in the comments which is your favourite. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.